Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to section 8.1, Multiplying and Dividing Rational Expressions. Let's take a peek at our first and only vocab word for today. It is a rational expression. A rational expression is a ratio of two polynomial expressions. And what does that mean? If we take a peek here at number one, here we have a polynomial, and actually this is a monomial, but we have a polynomial here, here and a polynomial here, so that would make up a rational expression, and you'll see rational expressions the whole time today. Now, today we're going to be asked to simplify each expression, and if I start with 8 twelfths, if we bring it back to fifth grade again, how can I simplify this 8 twelfths? Well, 8 can be rewritten as 2 times 4, that 12 can be rewritten as 3 times Four. Now what can we cancel out? We can cancel out the fours because they're the same number, and so eight twelfths can be rewritten as two thirds for your simplified answer. Same situation with one. Now they're just throwing in variables. How can we rewrite that top? We can rewrite the top as two times four, and then how many c's do we have? Times one c, two c, three c, and then how many d's? One d and two d's. That's going to go over the top of, how do we represent 12? 3 times 4. And now we have a bunch of C's here. We have 5 of them. And then we have 1D. So now how do we cancel the stuff off? We cancel off everything top and bottom that we have. So I can cancel out 3 C's. Now what else could you have done with the C's? I could have just subtracted the 5 and 3's and where's more? There is more on the bottom so I could have just put C squared on the bottom. But here I'm just showing you visually how to cancel them out. On top, what are we left with? We are left with a 2 and a D. So we have 2 D on top and that's going to go over what we have on the bottom. 3, we have 2 C, so what does that make it? It makes it C squared. So our final answer, our simplified answer is 2D over 3C squared. Next, we will be asked to simplify each expression and state what values make the expression undefined. Ladies and gentlemen, what does undefined mean? Undefined means set the denominator, which is the bottom of the fraction, to zero. Well, let's first simplify the expression. Now, when we simplify this expression, I know it's tough, ladies and gentlemen, but with pluses and minuses, we cannot cross off between pluses and minuses. They have to be multiplied to. They have to be multiplied to. So how do we get to do that? Well, what can we do? Ladies and gentlemen, please remember we have to factor this. Factor means multiply up to there, adds up to the middle guy. So let's try that. What multiplies to 10 and adds up to a positive 9? Well, that's going to be y minus 10 because negative 10 times a positive 1 multiplies to a negative 10 but adds up to a positive 9. That's going to go over now. What can I take out of the 2y and the 20? I can take out a 2 and I'll be left with y plus 10. Now since this guy here is being multiplied to the 2 I can go cancel cancel and I'm going to be left with now y plus 1 on top, that's going to go over 2 for my final answer. Now where is this undefined? Well, we set 2y plus 20 equal to 0. Why do we set it equal to 0? Because we cannot divide by 0. So now we just solve for y. We subtract the 20 over, so y equals negative 20, divide by 2, so y equals a negative 10 for our undefined value. 3. What can we do here? Well, notice how this x minus 5 and this 2x are being multiplied together. So then we can cancel here, cancel here. But we are not quite done because can we factor this? Would it help? We can go x minus 1 and x minus 1. It does not match anything on top. So we are good. So the top now is just going to be 2x. And on bottom you can write it x minus 1, x plus one, or you can just go x squared minus 1. But now, where is it undefined? We have to set both of these guys equal to 0. So for undefined, we have x minus 5 equals 0, and we have x squared minus 1 equals 0. Here, x is just going to equal 5. Here we have to factor, where it's going to be x minus 1, 
and x plus 1 equals 0, and x equals a positive 1 from here, and a negative 1 from there. So our values are undefined are 5, 1, and negative 1. A couple more here with 4. Being multiplied, nothing we can cancel out right away. So let's go ahead and factor. What can we take out of the top? Well, I can take a z out of the top, so I'm going to have a z here, and then it's going to be x minus 4. And then on bottom, I'm still going to have a z squared, and then 4 minus x. Now I know what you're thinking, ladies and gentlemen. This and this are the same thing. Be careful because what's negative? Here's the negative, or the 4 is negative, here the 4 is positive. What can I do to the bottom to make that look like the top. Well, I'm going to first rewrite this. You don't have to show this step, but I'm going to first rewrite this as negative x plus 4, right? To see that it's not the same thing. I can take out a negative. If I take out a negative out of this, if I go negative 1 times x minus 4, now this matches this, right? If I distribute that back in, it would be this, but now that I took it out, it equals this. So since it's the same thing, I can cancel that out. I can cancel out also one of my z's, and also I have this negative once in there. So what do I have left? I just have nothing on top or one left on top, and now I have a negative z on the bottom. It does not matter, ladies and gentlemen, where you put that negative, but you have to make sure you have that negative in there, whether it's top, bottom, or on the side. Looking at 5, what can we do with 5? We are now multiplying. Ladies and gentlemen, please remember when you multiply fractions, you can cancel out kitty corner if you want. So I'm going to cancel out that 4 with the 16, so I have 4 left. I'm going to also cancel out both of those A's. Now how about the other kitty corner? I'm going to cancel out that B, and I'm going to cancel out that 15 with a 5, right? Then I'm going to have 3 left over. Cancel that 5 out, and so we have 3 force for our simplified expression. Next, on number six, now I am dividing between fractions. When I divide between fractions, what does that mean? I have to change it to multiplication. What do I have to do with the second fraction? I have to flip it. So I have 6c squared d squared on top, and that goes over 5m to the fifth. Now I just carry down my other one, so it's 10mk squared, that goes over 3c squared d. Now let's start to cancel out. Remember, we can cancel out kidney corner. Well, here I have a 5 with the 10 that I'm going to cancel out, 2 left there after I divide the 5 into the 10. I'm going to cancel out this m with a 1m out of there, so I'm going to be left with 4ms. Nothing I can cancel the k squared out top or bottom. So now, moving to the 6, I have 2 left over after I divide out a 3. I'm going to take out all my c squareds. Here I'm only going to take out 1 d, so I'm going to be left with 1, but I'm canceling that out. So now on top, what do we have left for numbers? 2 times 2, so that's going to be 4. We have a k squared left, and we also have 1 d left. That's going to go over the top of nothing left over here. But now we have not a 4, but an m to the fourth for the bottom. So our simplified answer is right here. 4k squared d all over m to the fourth. Let's try a couple more. Here we are multiplying again, but with more polynomials. What can we do here? Well, let's first factor the bottom. I'm going to factor the bottom into k minus 3 and k minus 1 because negative 1 times negative 3 gives me a positive 3 but adds up to a 4. What can you factor the top to? The top factors to 1 minus k and 1 plus k. So now let's start to cancel. This 1 or k plus 1 cancels with this k plus 1, or 1 plus k. Now you can cancel because that is a plus sign in the middle, ladies and gentlemen. It's not a minus. It's the same thing if you switch them around. 
top and bottom now this k minus 3 can cancel with this k minus 3. Now we left, we're left with 1 minus k and k minus 1. These guys are not the same thing because the negative or the k is negative here and the 1 is negative here. So what can I take out down here? Remember I can take out that negative 1 and I can rewrite this guy as a negative k plus 1. Now is my k negative down here? Yes it is. My 1 positive? Yes it is. So this now cancels with that. What are we left with after everything we just did right there? We are left with a negative 1. Now to number 8. Now we have a complex fraction, ladies and gentlemen, is what this is called. A complex fraction where we have two fractions inside a fraction. What does that fraction bar mean, ladies and gentlemen? That fraction bar means division. So what we are going to do now is to move the bottom fraction to the top, and then we are going to divide. So I'm going to rewrite this guy as x squared over 9x squared minus 4y squared as I keep that fraction going. Now what does the division sign between fractions mean? It means that we have to multiply, but what do we have to multiply? The flip of this, right? So it's 2y minus 3x, that goes over x to the third. Now since we are multiplying, we can cancel out kitty corner and top and bottom. So I can cancel out here with x squared and here. How many x's do I have left? I'll have one x left. Now how about sideways? I can't just cancel out my y's because of this minus sign in the middle of these two terms. Can I factor one of these guys? Yes, I can. I can factor this by a little trick. I know it's going to be 3x minus 2y and then 3x plus 2y, right? Because it's a different of perfect squares, difference of perfect squares. So we just change it. Uh, the square root of 9 is 3, 3, x, x, the square root of 4 is 2 and 2, and then y and y. Now, is this, ladies and gentlemen, the same thing as this? Because the 3x is negative here, here the 2y is negative, so it is not the same thing. How can I make this the same thing? Well, I'm going to take out a negative, right? If I take out a negative, now it turns into a minus 2y and a plus 3x. Now my 2y's are both negative, so I can cancel and cancel. On top, what are we left with? Nothing over here, a negative 1 on top. And then that's going to go over a 3x plus 2y times, what do I have left here? An x. So, ladies and gentlemen, you could have that, or if you wanted to, you could multiply that x through, and it would be 3x squared plus 2yx for your final answer. You could have this, or you could have that, and that does it, ladies and gentlemen, for section 8.1, multiplying and dividing rational expressions. Good day.